Door Edge Meter Wiring. Today we're going to start with the RS-45 wiring in the bottom of the DC disconnect. We're using Cat5 today, just want to make sure that we're using the same colors for B, A, and G on either end. We'll push down on the button right above the termination, land our wire and release. After that, just make sure everything's nice and snug. Then we'll move on to our meter. Again, you want to verify the colors of B, A, and G are the same on either end of the wire. Terminations are located on the top left. Just land your wires and screw down. You want to place your meter next to what you are measuring and then do the long run back to the inverter with your RS-45. Do not do long runs with your CTs. CTs are calibrated based on their existing wire length and cannot be lengthened. So today we're setting up for export and import to allow the inverter to do maximize self-consumption. Landings for line one and line two CTs are clearly labeled on the front. Just tighten down. We've got two CTs today, both of them living in between the house and the grid, facing the grid, to measure what's coming in and out of the house. Again, just land your wires, paying close attention that the white and the black are landed in the correct location, and that the terminations are securely tightened down. After that, we'll start taking a look over at the AC side and the wiring from the breaker at the main to our meter. All right, on the AC side, landings for your ground, neutral, line one and line two are all clearly labeled on the front of the meter. Just want to make sure that everything is nice and tight. Generally, we advise that whenever you guys are doing installs of meters, we'd like to see pictures of two things. Pictures of the meter of the wiring and pictures of the placement of the CTs and orientation. While it's not always necessary to have these pictures, it will come in handy later as a reference if we have to do troubleshooting prior to you going to site. Again, just want to make sure all these connections are nice and tight prior to operations. And then we can move on to setting up the meter on the inverter itself. The link for the other video will be right below or within the documentation provided. Thanks for joining us in the Solar Edge Learning Lab.